up, Talk and Fight fans? Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Knuckle Up with yours truly, Mike Orr, and my man, Cedric Ben, in the den. Prospects, you know what it is. You know why you're here. It's for. We're about to get down with it, man. Paul Scrap Iron Ryan. Wow. Let's talk about this Irish prospect. Um, definitely uh, one to look out for, man. Uh, this kid, MTK Global, picked him up. He's trained by Gerard McDavid. Ryan had an extremely memorable career as an amateur with his three national titles just touching the surface of his success. Um, he's right now 4-0, three knockouts. Uh, I believe, let me just bring up the stats, man. I had here for a second. Sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, Cedric, let's talk about his fighting, man. You've seen, you've seen the kid fight, right? Yeah, yeah, the southpaw. Um, yeah, southpaw is, and he he um, he prefers to stay on the outside as best as he can, even even after he counter punches. Um, you know, he'll try to counter punch with his with his with his straight left and get right back into his his his, uh, his position at at full extension. Um, so he, he's he's four and oh, three knockouts. Um, yeah. very accurate with his punches because when he lands, if he can tell he hurts you, he's, he's trying to finish you off right away. So very accurate with his punches. Uh, not, not too many um, random Irish southpaws, but uh, <laughs> he's, he's pretty good. So, and you know, all of his career for sure. Yeah. You know, honestly, he's you know, he's, he's doing great, man. Uh, this kid, great amateur standout. Uh, you know, right now, four and two knockouts. You know, twenty three years old, five nine southpaw. He's ranked three out of nine in the Super Welter in Ireland. He's three hundred and seventeenth out of nine, nineteen hundred and forty nine. You know, this kid, let me tell you how busy this kid has been. Wait, how old is he? How old is he? He's only 23, mm. right? He's only 23. He's got a long, a long time ahead of him. And I'll tell you, this kid is keeping busy, man. He literally fought CJ Wood um, February 11th. Uh, then he was back out two months later, man, April 15th against Gabor uh, Gorbix. Wins that one on points. And now, three months later, he's back in there now, Alexander Zel Zeladon. So, guys, be on the lookout for this one, man. You say Charlie Zelenov? Yeah, Alexander Zeladon. Oh. And, yo, this one, th this one's taking place end of the month, man. So be on the lookout for it. On the 30th, this kid's back in action for a four-rounder. Uh, you know, I like watching this kid fight, man. Definitely, you know. Speaking of Irish boxers, <laughs> you know, um, this kid, man, this kid, like seriously, he's something else. He's something else, especially he like something I said. Else. He is uh, something um, else. He man. likes. He, he, he's. You can tell he's very comfortable. I forget what you said. Did he? What did he do as he, an amateur? He, okay, so as an amateur, he won three national titles: a European silver medal, uh, world bronze medal, uh, multiple international box cups, and he had boxed uh, for Ireland for over fifteen years, man. Uh, so, you know, the kid is no slouch when it comes to being, you know, in ring and, and fighting and skilled to do it, man. You know, uh, he's the former Bay City and uh, Mudder amateur, also won a European silver medal in the 2013 uh, uh, European and a world bronze medal in the 2015, plus six Dublin titles and much more, man. So, and now that he's entered the pro ranks, you know, he's, uh, he's, looking, at, he's looking to do it, man. This kid, he's looking to... Yeah, man. Uh, um, Get this title, bro. That's what he's after, man. He's at, he's after the title. He's 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 looking to do it, man. You know, he becomes you know, he became the only second Irish pro fighter to compete in 2022 when he fought at the famous York Hall. Uh, you know, this kid, man. He fought CJ Wood on the Danny Dignam topped MTK uh, card. Uh, that's that was a good fight, man. That I enjoyed watching of his. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember it, man. Uh, my dog is just scratching down my door. It's hilarious. He wants to get in here so bad. <laughs> but he can't. But, yes, guys, be on the lookout for this kid, man. Uh, you know, MTK Global picked this kid up right away, man. Uh, you know, he was extremely memorable career as an amateur, you know. The three national titles, that's what everybody always talks about when they talk about this kid. But now we're in the paid ranks, and he seems to be kicking some ass, man. So, guys, be on the lookout for this kid. You're going to want to watch this Dubliner. He's looking to, uh, you know, put that belt around his waist. And sooner than later. Uh, he wants that, you know, he wants that stuff to happen now. He's, he believes he's going to be 10-0, uh, you know, by this time next year. So he's got high hopes. 
you know, he's determined to get his 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 job done, man. And you guys, be on the lookout for him. Watch him. You heard it here. Paul, Scrap Iron Ryan, the man, 23 years old, 4-0, two knockouts, Irish boy. Be on the lookout for his rise, man, this prospect. Definitely hard hitter, uh, determined, great heart, great fighter. Watch out for him. You want to say anything before we get out of here? I'm sorry. I know you probably said already, but what is his next scheduled fight? Uh, it is the 30th, guys, so mark that on your calendar. The 30th. You will get to see this guy out. It's uh, month? This month, the 30th. Okay. So we're talking soon, man. Soon. So, <laughs> guys, you're going to get to see him. This kid, he wants to stay busy. He's, like I said, man, he's fought, this is going to be his third fight this year. And, you know, he wants to be literally, by this time next year, 10-0 and 0 undefeated and looking to make strides towards the title, man. You know, this kid, Ryan blasted out Spaniard, Damien Esquabo, a fighter with positive Irish, pre, uh, you know, a fighter with positive Irish previous inside a minute. Inside a minute, man, he took this kid out uh, in hall, in uh, Ulster Hall last November and followed up by uh, the CJ Wood. So, guys, the kid is real deal, man. Be on the lookout for him in the ring on the 30th. You heard it here from Mike Orr at 4. And my man Cedric Ben in the den doing what we do best, and that's prospects. Bring them to you. For you guys to watch, man, the future of boxing. <laughs> Got cut off at the last second. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You know, we're here every day at 4. Uh, me and my boy, Mike Gore, and all the other great, great shows that we have on the, the Talk and Fight YouTube channel. Um, so many, too many to name off the top of my head. But, you know, like I said, like, share, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend. All right, peace. <laughs> or maybe I should just keep talking. What do you guys want to talk about? So we were talking about my man Paul Ryan before. Um, thanks to my man Mike Cor for putting me on to him. A uh, very good Irish boxer. <clears throat> Southpaw, too. Um and it's easy to say, you know, a lot of people come up with the term like boxer puncher. Uh, that's kind of kind of easy to say. That's just basically mean you're everything. Um, but Mr. Ryan kind of looks like like that ideal because he, he, like I said before, he prefers to to keep you on the outside of his punches at full extension. And he is back. He likes to keep you at, at the full extension of his punches. Um, but if he but if he catches you and hurts you, um, he will obviously finish you off, as you can see in his three knockouts out of his four fights. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. He knows what he's doing, man. Be on the lookout for him, man. He is a talented fighter. He is fighting on the 30th, guys. So mm. watch out for that one. You know, this kid, uh, he made quick work of his last two fights. So it's uh, it, it's great. It's great. You heard it here. Sorry, guys, that I uh, crapped out, man. My dog knocked out my... <laughs> so, uh, he got <laughs> knocked out. He got knocked out. Man, wow. You can't get away from it, eh? But anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in to today's episode of knuckle up we'll see you tomorrow same time same channel it's hump day man no it's is it hump day yeah it is, it is today's day. tuesday today's tuesday it yeah. is yeah so there we go tomorrow's hump day guys so come join us tomorrow hump day four o'clock we'll see you new prospect you know what it is man knuckle up